hello everyone my name is Kisley you are welcome back so um before we proceed uh, in our last video um we finish uh, putting what we we were asked to do in visualization which is this um <coughs> uh we are supposed to be moving to the next the third one which is a uh, and mode column so uh but before we start um <coughs> sorry but before we start um there's something i would like to adjust you know um in our month column uh the values uh, is being represented uh, the month uh, cells which is the month is being represented in numbers so january is one like this for now is april so i want to quickly change it to the month name itself so that it can easily uh we can easily relate so um to do this uh month equals to we have we have month So uh, we'll be using this uh, replace method. It's going to help us to replace it, the replace the numbers to whatever we want to change it to. So that is the work of this replace method. So um, now we are going to type out the values, the values that we want to replace, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. so these are the numbers we want to replace so now we are going to replace it with we are going to type out uh, the values we want to replace it with so going to be january february march April, May, so this one will be June, July, August, October, November, and um, <coughs> December. Okay, so let me look at it very well. Make sure it will not throw back an error. Okay, let's see. I think it's good. Let's run it. I guess it's wrong. So supposed to know. we have to display our data frame again. Wow, it works. You can see it. Let's generate uh, ten randomly. Let's generate uh, ten rows randomly um, instead of like this. So you use a sample sample method to generate ten rows randomly. So you can see it being generated randomly. So. October, June, October, December, so it works perfectly. So, so if we go back to this our uh, where we group it by month, where we get our total sales per month, we did it in our last video. If I'm to rerun it again, these are months that we grouped that is in numbers, we now turn to the real month name, which we wish is more better. It's here, perfect. So think so if we rerun uh, re our uh, our bar charts it's going to look more good yeah you can see it April August so this is more presentable it's, it's, it's good like this okay so let's continue um, <coughs> so now we are going to be 
adding our city column so to do this uh, we are we are going to get our city column from here so this is our city column you know this uh, this our this is where we are going to be getting our city this is the city that we are going that we are looking for so but this is just uh, the address of our clients their address where they are purchasing from so this the this is the column that we're going to be using to get our city so to do this um we are going to use a method called apply method to be able to grab only the city from this column for from each and every rows here so that's what we are going to be doing now so let's start so um we are going to call our new column that we are about to create the city let's the first one up to letter city uh, we are going to be getting it from going to be getting it from purchased address purchased address uh, okay and we are going to be using apply method apply method um, lambda x okay um quickly uh this lambda s is going to allow us to grab this particular content this particular content um to get what we want that is what the lambda x does so we are going to it's going to enable us to grab this particular content or string from this uh, row you understand so and also we are going to use a, a split method to split method what this split does is you know you can't actually grab this without telling it how you want to get or what you want to get in particular so uh, as it is now you just seeing it you can't this if you if you are familiar with lists this as long as uh, pandas is concerned if python as a whole service is concerned this is zero this this one this two so we don't want it like that we want to split it by in if you are very uh, observant you are going to see that this particular address is, is being split by comma you see it comma here comma here so we are going to we are going to split it by comma if we split it by comma so that uh, it will not be seen this as zero and this one as one and this one as two so that we'll be grabbing this this particular one which is one as our city so that's what we're going to do so here now we are going to be splitting it by comma right then we'll now grab the first string of this row so let's run it and see what okay i guess it's wrong so let's open up our okay yeah it works perfectly you can see it dallas boston los angeles okay um there's another way we can also do this we can also create a function and use uh use uh, another method and it will work so let's see to do this we're going to okay write a new function call it a uh, new city new city and um, passing new city and passing address okay and um, we return the return address dot split just like we did before we split it by comma and grab the first content which is one so it's the same thing with what we just did there so you know the one that is more better whether it's to do it like this or to just to just uh, define a new function so anyone you like 
the boat works but to use this one you, you have to remove this now because this now this one and this one it just is the same thing so the only thing we need to do is just to sorry all right done okay the only thing we need to do is to remove this and call the function that we just uh, call the function that we just defined so we just call new new city in brackets x that's all let's run it what's the problem new city is not defined I did okay I didn't run it sorry I made a mistake you can see the box any row every row run cell must have a number so this doesn't have it means I have not run it so let me just quickly run it okay now let's run this one oh, it works so let's display our data frame again it works so it's the same thing it's still showing us the same thing i just want to show you another method you can also use to do that okay <coughs> okay so uh now we have successfully uh, created a new column city so these are the cities of uh, our clients these are their address these are their city this is their city so we are good right so okay 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 thank you very much uh, in our next video we are going to be looking into number four which is uh, what city has the highest numbers of cells what city has the highest number of cells wow okay that's what we're going to be doing in the next video so thank you very much um, is this if this is your first time of watching this video i recommend you go back and start from the beginning so that you can be able to catch up thank you very much see you in my next video